Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in the Pathfinder Solution Series and this is a long pending video uh, that I wanted to take up uh, after the two videos that I've already made on the voltmeter readings, the links of those two voltmeter reading questions, one for the motional EMF and one for the time varying magnetic field uh, and induced electric field are uh, there as links in the description below. So please do watch them. And uh, this is the follow up practice uh, questions that I have mentioned at that point of time. So these are from the objective type uh, section of Pathfinder book. So let's go ahead and see one after another. Uh, the two questions that you have one is the bulb on an aeroplane wing. Okay, an aircraft is flying at a level height in presence of magnetic field of the earth. If an electric bulb is connected between the two extreme ends of the wings, a voltage will induce across the wings and the bulb will glow. No voltage will induce across the wings, but the bulb will glow. A voltage will induce across the wings, but the bulb will not glow. And the fourth obvious permutation, which is no voltage will in induce across the wing and bulb will not glow. Okay, so this was from the objective number one of the chapter 15 EMI and AC. So try it out and then go ahead with the solution that I'm going to provide. And then there is another problem. Also, at the end of this particular uh, video, I'll give you three more practice problems under AITS Select Series, of which the video will come within one or two days. Okay, so please do stay or in case you have already solved these questions, directly go to that particular uh, uh, practice questions at the end. Okay, so this is the second question. So we'll come back to this once I solve the first one. Okay, right. So before we start with the solution for the motional EMF problem, that is the airplane wing and the bulb, I would like you to watch this video. The link of whom I have already told you is in the description below. So I'm assuming that you have done this uh, video and then the description of this particular solution would be very, very simple for you. Okay, so, or you can follow the video in the I button above. So the idea is the aeroplane wing, see you can connect it across the wings or across each wing, it doesn't matter. The solution would be similar to what we are going to derive. Okay, so I've assumed that across this particular wing, there is a connection and the bulb is connected at that particular place. There are two components of magnetic field of earth. One is the vertical component, as you could see, and another one would be the horizontal component, which is coming out of the board. Okay, I have not drawn it. The reason will be told to you. So the thing is, if the aeroplane is moving towards you, right now as you're watching then there will be a motional emf induced across this wire that is across this bulb and there is a motional emf across this particular wire because this length the velocity of the plane and this magnetic field are all mutually perpendicular that's a nice recipe for the motional emf of bv into l assume this length effectively is l in the direction uh, parallel to this then the equivalent circuit diagram would be depicted like this. You could see P, Q, R, and S. This RS can be replaced with a BVL, and this PQ part can also be replaced with another BVL. I have already taken the entire resistance of this particular loop as capital R here. Okay, right. So you could uh, understand, or you could say that the resistance R is of the bulb also. It doesn't matter again. So you realize that the net EMF induced in the entire circuit, which causes the current, if any, is zero because this BVL and this BVL effects cancel each other. You could realize this uh, even by looking at the rate of change of flux also. So magnetic field lines, which are there uh, creating the so-called flux for this particular problem are not going to change the value over a period of time. So either by d phi by dt equal to zero logic or by E net is equal to zero uh, logic, you should be able to realize that the value of this EMF and therefore the induced current is zero. Since the induced current is zero and no current passes through the bulb, bulb will not glow. But the uh, trick in this problem is that if you try to calculate the voltage induced across VPQ with no current through this, the answer is BVL. So the required solution, which should not surprise people who have watched my pe previous video on this, is that the voltage will induce, but the bulb will not glow. That's a nice combination. Okay, right. And let's go to the second question. 
in a cylindrical region that is encircled by a uniform metallic ring a uniform magnetic field perpendicular to the plane of the ring varies with time in such a manner that a constant electromotive force of 12 volt is induced in the ring so there is a time varying magnetic field which induces an emf in this circular metal ring that is there in both figure 1 and figure 2 the value of that induced emf is 12 volt a voltmeter of very high resistance is used to measure potential difference between the two points on the ring separated by one quarter of the ring so between these two points they are actually inducing uh, or connecting a voltmeter and therefore you would be able to take a reading for the purpose the voltmeter is connected to two different manners in it is connected in two different manners one is this way and remember the points of connection are same in both but the way the voltmeter loop is finished in both these figures you could see it's slightly different which of the following conclusions can you draw regarding readings of the v1 and v2 of the figure 1 and figure 2 arrangements okay so is the reading going to depend on uh, the type of arrangement that you have connected to this particular voltmeter points is going to be decided okay right so try to uh, try it out and then come back for the solution so for those who are new to this channel you should watch the second video that i have made about the time varying magnetic field it was a complete post mortem of the concept by giving you four different situations and 14 problems all the discussions regard regarding the time varying magnetic field and how voltmeters read was done in this particular uh, second video uh, whose description uh, link uh, is in the description below so please make sure you watch that and that would ease out the solution that i am going to present so here's the solution for the second problem so for the figure one part if you carefully observe on the left hand side i'm assuming each of this quarter part of the uh, ring has a resistance r okay so imagine that there is a emf that is induced in that metal ring whose resistance is 4r now the value of that current multiplied by the resistance that is uh, there for 4r should be equal to 12 volt that he has mentioned there is a magnetic field into the board in this particular problem so that the current is anti clockwise okay now uh, for only this particular part where the voltmeter is connected if i try to take a path of travel this red colored one that i have drawn is a path of travel inside the wire i move and into the voltmeter i move i take this part out it's like a free body diagram uh, it's not uh, a single loop of its own it's a free body diagram so this particular point you have here and therefore you end up having a kvl written for this particular part right so if you go this way and then this way and come back the entire emf induced is related to d5 by dt there is no magnetic field inside this so the rate of change of flux is zero so the value of ir along this and iv rv where iv is the current flowing through voltmeter and the value of rv is the resistance okay you should all understand that the value of current that is flowing through the voltmeter would be very small because its resistance is very large but their product is not going to be a zero that what that is what is the reading and that is explained in that video that i was talking about okay right the reading of voltmeter is always equivalent to iv into rv has extensively explained so the because this flux is totally zero so this ir and this iv rv's magnitude should be equal to each other they should cancel out each other and therefore the reading itself is ir which is 3 volt from this particular aspect okay so for the figure one in this arrangement it reads 3 volt let's move forward for the figure 2 I, we we can do it in two methods i'll give you the method one and you can sort out the method two on your own okay right so the method one is to take the emf by taking a path in this direction like this like last time the reason why i took this path is this path again doesn't enclose any magnetic flux you could see magnetic flux is here so in this loop the magnetic flux is not available so rate of change of flux is again zero in that particular part and therefore the iv rv this time is equal to this time i into 3r unlike last time i into r therefore this times the reading would be three times that particular thing so i'll give you a hint for the method two why not take the loop not around this way but around this particular manner so imagine i was trying to go like this just follow the lead here like this and then complete it like this then you should be able to take the flux available as 12 volt totally instead of zero and you, you should be able to rearrange these terms and still get the same value of 9 volt okay so wait for the practice problems let me mark the answer for this 
So the required answer for this is in the first figure, it would be three volt and in the second figure, it would be nine volt. Okay, right. So let's move ahead and take up the three practice problems that I promised. So this is the practice problem number one. So you can take a snapshot, try it out and comment your answer uh, in the uh, comment section below, right? Then this is the practice problem number two taken from a different AITS of a different institute. It's a very interesting question. So try it out. All right. So just in case you're having trouble watching the diagram, I'll just zoom it out for you. So this should be good enough for you people. All right. Then let's go to the third one. This is the third question, a similar one uh, where the uh, a reading of the voltmeter is associated with the glowing of a bulb and how the glowing of bulb is dependent on its arrangement. You could see the arrangement of the bulbs are quite different. A concept gets more clarified once you attempt this problem. Okay, so I'll come up with the solution of all these three in a upcoming AIT Select Series video. So in case you want to check out all these series uh, videos, please go through the links in the description below that are given. Try to play three or four videos per day uh, so that your concepts get clarified. If you're new to this channel, there are more than 130 videos that I have produced by now. Each and every one of them is a good learning curve for a physics lover. Okay, so I hope you will explore the channel. And in case you have liked this video and loved the presentation, please do give it a like. A liked videos are pressed by YouTube algorithm to more audience. So it will help my uh, channel to gain more subscribers. Please do share this content with uh, your friends and peer group uh, in WhatsApp and Telegram. It would help my growth in the uh, YouTube world. Okay, so uh, thank you for staying with me this long. And thank you for showing the confidence and the love that you always do. And see you in the next video.